Hey friends, welcome to our August 2024 market update. We hope you had a wonderful summer and we look forward to getting back into the swing of things this fall. There are some really interesting things and encouraging signs in the local real estate market right now. So let's jump right in and break down what we're seeing. Let's start with the great news. Interest rates have been declining. They now sit around 6.5% and we're hoping to see 6% later this year, which may be as low as they go for a while. This lowers payment and increases affordability for buyers, which is fantastic. Each year, there are seasonal trends in real estate. The largest number of new properties are listed in the spring, and then there are fewer new listings in the summer and the fall, and there's even less in the winter. We're starting to see that summer slowdown happen now. So options for buyers remains tight. The number of active listings right now is slightly higher than last year, but it's still well below that 10 year average. So we need more inventory to meet demand. Due to low inventory, home prices continue to rise this year. They appear to have cooled off this month, but that's likely due to the typical summer slowdown. Right now, throughout the DC metro areas, the average sales price for a single family home is 970,000. 700,000 for townhomes, and 450,000 for condos. Across all home types, average prices are up around 6% compared to this time last year. The average sales to original list price ratio is back to 100%, meaning that homes are selling on average for their asking price throughout the whole DC metro area. However, if we extrapolate between DC and the Maryland and Virginia suburbs, we see that DC homes are selling for only around 96% of their asking price, while the suburbs are selling at over 100%. We also see that the months of supply of housing in DC is much higher than the suburbs, with Virginia and Maryland at one and a half months of supply, and DC is over four months. The demand for housing is much lower in the district than the suburbs right now. So is real estate still a good investment? Well, if you take a look at this chart showing how the value of real estate compares to the value of owner's equity and liabilities across the nation since 2000, you can see the strength of today's real estate market. Since 2000, we have had two recessions, but prices have increased nearly 300%. The total value of owned real estate was 11 trillion in 2000 and is now 45.8 trillion. When you consider outstanding loans, we see that homeowners had about $7 trillion in equity in 2000 and now sit at $32.8 trillion. In this market, we're seeing lots of value, lots of equity, and relatively lower liability remaining loans. Real estate is still a great investment and remains a great way to build equity over the long term. In fact, if you take a look at this dip in interest rates since just a few months ago, you'll see that a $500,000 loan in April would lead to a difference in monthly payments of $375. And if you zoom out and look at the life of the loan, that difference in rates leads to over $135,000 in savings over 30 years. This is quite a huge jump from just a few short months ago and is great news for sidelined buyers who may have put their home purchase on hold. So what does it all mean? Well, if you're a buyer, things are slowly beginning to open up as the average sales prices decrease, supply remains steady and interest rates are trending downwards. Right now is a very interesting time for first time buyers or investors to be looking at condos which have a high supply versus demand. It could create an opportunity for somebody to pick up a first time home or an investment property this fall, which tends to be when there's less competition. If you're a seller, you remain in a very good place. While the market is in its seasonal cooling, you may need to be more patient though. Now preparing a home for sale in the right way remains the key to selling for top dollar. And it's important to have a market expert in your corner when you're valuing your home. If you're thinking about selling, we can provide a free customized home valuation and marketing plan so you know exactly what's going to happen when, so you're prepared when the time is right. That's it for this month. Please know that you are very important to us. Our goal is to help our clients use real estate to achieve their long-term personal and financial goals. And we are never too busy to take care of you or anybody that you care about. We are always here for you and we look forward to speaking with you soon.